sorry, it's DJ. <laughs> on guys it is your boy jason love coming at you with another video about cdl and non-cdl hotshot in this video i want to talk about something that's super important um and something that a lot of people don't understand um and i want to help you guys understand it <sighs> excuse me i feel like i'm dying right now you're alive i'm alive anyways we're going to be talking about electronic logging devices, electronic log books, the rules of logging, all that good stuff. But I want to break it down as simple as possible. I don't want this video to be that long because I just want to do it as simple as possible. I've shot this video three times, but I keep watching it and I'm like, no, I need to make it more simple so these people are simpler so these people can understand it. Right? So <clears throat> you have to have an electronic logging device, whether you're non CDL or CDL. If you're doing hot shot, you have to have an electronic logging device. You run under the same rules as a semi truck does when it comes to this stuff, okay? So let's say you have a 24 hour period. In that period, you have 14 hours where you can basically be on duty. Um, during that 14 hours, you can drive for 11 hours. So you have like a three hour buffer period in your on duty time to get loaded, to get unloaded, to get gas, etc. And then you have 11 hours where you can physically be moving the truck um, and be on the road driving. Um, and after eight hours of driving continually, you have to take a 30 minute break. So if you drive eight hours continually, you get a 30 minute break. Okay. And that goes on your on duty, not moving time, 30 minutes. Okay. After you hit your 14 hours of on duty time, or let's say you just blow out your 11 hours of driving all at once, you just have to take a 10 minute, 10 hour break, 10 minute, I wish 10 hour break. And that's going to reset your hours for the next day. Okay. So you go off duty for 10 hours, you get your hours back 14 hours. 11 hour drive, 11 hour drive time, you have 14 hours in total where you can be on duty, 10 hour break. Boom, pretty easy, right? And then after seven days of doing that, you have to take a 34 hour restart, okay? You'll have a, you have a clock that goes down and it says 70 hours. And once you deplete that 70 hours, to restart all of those 70 hours again, you just take a 34 hour restart, 34 hour off duty period. So you take a day off, take a 10 hour break, and then you get back on the road. So I hope that's pretty easy to understand. Like I said, non-CDL and CDL drivers have to have electronic logging device. The electronic logging device I use is called Keep Trucking. They're probably the most popular. They're really easy to use. They send their stuff out quick. It costs me $35 a month. It costs me I think $120 up front to get the, to get the hardware installed. If you use the link below to start with them, I actually get a cut off the top, which is pretty dope. I think you actually get $100 off as well. I'm not completely sure. But yeah, click the link if you want to go with them. A couple things about them. I think they're pretty awesome. The technology is pretty up to date. It's pretty easy to use. But they are a big company. So I've tried to call them and it's taken it's, it's taken a day for, the, for anybody to call me back. Uh, I feel like they have a lot of call centers around the world because I've never talked to somebody who is a native English speaker. So if that's something that irritates you, don't I wouldn't go with them. Um, even when I got set up, I talked to somebody I think was probably in India or somewhere that helped me out. I don't really have a big problem with it, but um, I wish I would be able to have get quicker contact with somebody in the company when I have like small questions that need to be answered. So if that's a problem, um, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. You might want to go with a smaller company. But like I said, they send their stuff out really quick. They'll get you set up. Really all it is is a little box. You plug the box into your truck. The box is basically a GPS tracker. Um, and then your driver's gonna connect his phone to the GPS tracker. And then it's basically just gonna log when the truck's moving, when the truck's not moving, it'll log all your hours, it'll automatically restart your hours. It'll tell you if there's any problems, it'll do all that for you. So yeah, you have to have an ELD. Um, Cause when you get pulled over by the DOT, one of the first questions they're gonna ask you is, um, send me over your log book. So you basically send them a link, they click on it, they'll be able to see all your logs for the last seven or 14 days. Um, and basically check, make sure that you're in compliance with all of those laws. Um, another thing I was going to tell you, but I kind of forgot right at this moment is I do not remember, but yeah. So yeah, be, be compliant with that. Use the, uh, use your log books. Oh, I was about to say, if you have any problems with your, <clears throat> with your electronic logging device, um, I would have backup paper copies. You can go to any truck stop really and buy a paper copies of your log. So if your log book shorts out, it does, it does mess up sometimes, you know, maybe, um, it's not registering the hours completely correct. Um, you just make sure you do your paper logs for the actual hours that you worked. And then if you can pull over out of the DOT and they're like, well, let me see your logs. Okay. Well, I have the logs good for about three days. And then I went ahead to use paper logs for the last five. 
uh, just because this happened um, with my electronic logging device. But I think if you have any malfunction with your electronic logging device, you can only use paper logs for up to eight days before you have to get your, your logging device fixed. But keep tracking is pretty good with just not even have to worry about it, not having to look at it. Like it's an easy way to track your driver too if you're a broker or not broker, but a dispatcher, you know, you can just look and see where he's at in real time kind of like a live stream of him moving it's kind of cool but yeah guys i want to make this video pretty quick like i said rundown of the hours again you have 14 hours where you can work in a day basically out of those 14 hours you can drive for 11 the other three hours are for gas and getting uh loaded and unloaded <clears throat> after your 14 hours are up <clears throat> you have to take a 10 hour break and then when your 10 hour break has been registered in the logbook you will have a reset of hours so you'll have a 14 hours left 11 hours to drive after eight hours to driving, you have to take a 30 minute break. And then after 70 hours has have been depleted in total, you have to take a 34 hour restart, which is basically a day and 10 hour break. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys can understand this. Like I said, non-CDL and CDL have to have logbooks. So thank you guys so much for, for um, watching this video. And if you guys have any questions, please hit the like, comment, hit the like button, comment your questions, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for the subscribers I have. And I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later.